Hey guys, VentureGoth here, or VG for short, and today I've got a really awesome video for you guys. It's going to be a review on a new thing I just bought, a new bit of technology, which I think is really cool. And I've also got two other things here, which are like sub-reviews. So, I'm going to introduce the th my main thing to you, which I've already unboxed. This is just a box for it, but you can see it. But it's in fact called a MIP, which is a small robot thing. Let me just move my microphone a little bit close to me. And it does a whole bunch of stuff. Let's read from the inside of the box. This is what the inside of the box looks like. Kind of limited to space here a little bit. And it says in here, tons of built-in games and features. Turn the wheel to set the mo mode. Dance, roam and more. This little, this little robot thing can hold its own weight on its small tray. It... Um, it's really cool. In fact, I'm going to show you what this thing. And it's remote, it's remote control. You control it through your phone, but you can turn the wheel and it does other stuff too. Now, um, it's made by a company called Wowie, which also made this, oh my god, very heavy robot. Now, you, as soon as I bring it up, you guys will recognise what it is. It's made, oh god, got all hair all over it. Look at that. Um, this is um, Robo Sipian. It came out ten years, well, over ten years ago now, and he was saying I wanted when I was a child. I got him last year, and he's pretty cool. He's controlled by a massive remote, which has twenty odd buttons on it, and he can move his arms and and slash and whatever. Very very big touch sensors here, goes out and stuff. Not very. But the problem with this one is it's really big, it's really chunky, and it's very slow. Apparently a newer version, which is Robosopian X, moves a little bit faster. But, yeah, this is like the older version of what they used to do, like 10 years ago. But now, I'm showing you the box for MIP. This is, in fact, MIP. A lot smaller, and it will fit inside the um, view in my, in my camera. And, yeah, he's really cool. I like him. He's a cute little robot that you can pretty much set to run around and do whatever. So I turn him on. Mip. It says Mip. And he has several modes. You just spin the wheel, light changes, stack. So in this game mode, you'll in fact clip on the tray and he'll actually stack. You can stack things on. I'm not going to do it now, but I'll do a demonstration at the end. So that's. Oh, uh, yeah. <coughs> Yes, but yeah, and he works, the way he stands up is he uses a Segway technology. Oh, can I turn my phone a second? He uses a Segway technology, so you know how Segway stay upright, he uses, he uses the same, I think it's a gyro in there that keeps him upright. But which is, which is cool, his arms unfortunately don't move, you have to move yourself. But then again, he has so much functionality, you don't need this. I think that's the best part of him yet. So there's loads of good things, he's really fast. He does eat batteries though, but don't worry about that. In the description below, there are some batteries. I'm actually going to do a review on these batteries I found on Amazon. And yeah, so he's a pretty cool little robot. And uh, on, let me try and get the, I'm gonna get the app and stuff up. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to mention these batteries I got. It, I found some Duracells. Now the highest you can get in the shops is blue. The blue Duracells, which are high expensive. But on Amazon, I found these AAA batteries, which are... Oh, let's put one back in, because I uh, kind of looked at these. This is Duracell Industrial. These are industrial strength batteries. These batteries will power stuff for a very long time. It's standard 1.5 volts. And yeah, I'm going to stick it in the MIP now. And um, I'm going to see what the difference is, because at the moment I'm using, like really cheap batteries and he eats them up pretty quickly due to the mechanism on the bottom here and stuff but yeah so i'm gonna get into that i'm also gonna do a demo of him because and show you all the game types he does because he has so many game types um <clears throat> so involves shooting lasers that's one of my favorites but yeah anyway we're gonna do a jump cut now to me putting these batteries in and seeing what difference is. Right guys, so I put the batteries in the MIP and I just remembered something. I haven't showed you guys what's actually in the box. You get two sheets, well you get a, you get a starter got a booklet telling you about the MIP and then you get a card um, that, tell, that shows you all different game modes and stuff and also the MIP has emotion 
This little guy has emotion built in. So he'll feel sad, grumpy, or fart, burp, and stuff like that. So pretty much the stuff that Robo Sapi would do on command, this guy will do by his own accord. So yeah, which is cool. I like the fact they kept that in there and actually made him have a personality, which is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, this little guy is absolutely superb. And you get the carrying tray with stickers. These are the stickers, this is how you place them on so things don't fall off. There's also a stack mode where he will use the Segway technology to counteract anything you put on. And this is a small stand which just goes in here. I might as well show you where this stuff goes in case you're wondering. So this is a display stand so it will sit like that. I've tried having it in there with him whilst he's riding around and stuff. It kind of gets in the way which is kind of bad. And yes, yeah, so that's the tray and that's how the tray sits which is pretty cool. So yeah, you can stack things on top of him. And he can actually hold his own weight, which is pretty cool. So if you have another MEP on top, then you can stack them. And there's something good. And that's, one thing I will say is if you've got multiple of these little guys, it gets more fun. There's loads more stuff you can do with, with more. I'm trying to, like, nag my girlfriend to get one at the moment. Well, trying to poke her in the right direction of getting one. Because there's some games which require two MEPs. And these guys are fun. So when I'm now going to jump into actually showing you what he does. This little guy, this little cute guy. Say Mep. Mep. Oh, that's kind of fail. I put the batteries in the wrong way around. Right, guys, I'm going to show you another functionality he has where you can turn his wheel and it will, in fact, light up a different color. Right now, he's on free roam. I don't know why I'm doing this by one hand, but I am. But anyway, I'm just going to strike across my chest. Box. Box. And box mode. Oh. Let's go. I think this is a, like a full mode or something. I'm not sure. Oh. Yep. So you get the gyro. Oh. And off he goes. Oh. Oh. See, he's got his own little personality and stuff. I'm not quite sure what it was doing there. But yeah, come on, Mep. Mep, go forward. I'm not sure he's responding to sound. I'm not actually sure what this mode is actually for. And I apologise for any like sounds on the, on the mic and stuff like that. I'm trying to do this freehand, which is not the best idea. But yeah, you just stack. If you can't do. That's, I don't, that's just Mep being Mep. He has got a track mode somewhere, but I haven't quite found out yet. I've had for a few days now. Mep. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> I think it's follow mode, that one. Yeah, it is. He's falling now. He's tracking. So, yeah. It is a really good little toy. Let's change his mode. Music. So that's dance. There you go. This is one of my favourites. This is free roam. This is where he goes off and does his own little thing. It, the way he sees is through uh, reflective surfaces. So, there you go. So, it's re when, it reflects, when the infrared reflects back, you can now see. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's a very cool little robot. It has lots of functionality. Unfortunately, in this stage, it doesn't go very fast. I think that's due to the fact that humans are controlled. It's the only thing that reflects back. Oh! Oh. And the way it works, it works through Bluetooth. So if you can see, he's appearing as Bluetooth on my phone for the app. So I'm connecting to him now. And off we go. This is just like a normal remote control car or whatever. It works the exact same way. I'm going to try not to crash him. But yeah, he's pretty nippy on, on these batteries. They don't run down like the old ones. Whereas after a while they'll get like less volts going through them and stuff. These industrial batteries actually keep up with the with the device you're using, which is nice. They're designed for performance, which is kind of thing you want for these things. So yeah, you, I think sometimes it runs slow, but yeah. Uh, so the link for them will be in the description below because they are worth getting. But this is not the only thing MIP does. If we click on the icon up there, we got a whole range of stuff in the app to do. Um, some of what I won't do right now because like dance, this is where the MIP plays music and stuff. Due to copyright, I can't play any music because all I've got is metal and stuff like that. 
And it's all been copyrighted, so yeah, I can't do anything, but they're like simple little controls on here to do with MIP. And you got like different stuff here. I haven't really used it to be honest. Uh, but you got battle, you got boxing, you got all sorts of stuff. So let's go with can since you've already seen drive. This is where you can adjust his personality. So you can put grumpy in there. You can put guilty, happy in there as well. We go on to the other side, you got fart, dizzy, and sad. Oh, I got to start again. You can you have to like be in a certain time with others. There you go. We'll put these ones in. And watch what he does when, all, when he consumes them. There we go. Now watch the mip. You say farts. So it's farty. He laughs. Dizzy. Goes around in circles. Oh, he can sneeze. And <laughs> he sneezes. Chatty. And happy. Oh, he's all happy. See, that's really cool. That's a nice little feature in there. Um, we got... Oh, battle. This is my favourite. This is where you can actually fight other mips. You can shoot them with lasers and stuff. And when the health goes down, they actually fall backwards. So you've got to go pick them back up when they die. Which is cool. So yeah, lots of functionality in this little dude. So now it's a, literally a robot attitude. I absolutely love it. So yeah. It goes around in circles. Very accurate. I like the robot Scipion. Yeah, as you can see, you can also box with him as well. And he turns as he's trying to throw punches and stuff. Which is cool. And you can still control them as well. Batteries are going down. Uh, stack, uh, path. This is where you can draw a path. So like a circle. And I do something small because the scale in this thing. Have I been disconnected? No. Yes, I've been disconnected with the MIP. That's weird. First time he's ever done that, he's disconnected. Let's go to settings. Uh, disconnect MIP. Reconnect to him. That's the first time it's ever happened. Is uh, I've been disconnected from my map, and once I'm connected up, there we go. Now I've got control again. Oh no! I believe the map has actually crashed. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to make you. I'm trying to big up here, map. But anyway, um, so you got stack there, where you just literally stack things on top of a map. Oh, pants falling over. Oh no! Oh no! I've got control of them now. There you go. Reconnected. So yeah, you literally just get a tray out and stack things on top of a map. Not gonna do it now, but yeah, there's loads of stuff you can do as little guys, this little guy. So I hope that was a good demonstration for you guys on how the MIP works, and ignore the fact that he uh, disconnected there. That's the first time he's ever done that, and I'm pretty sure there's a reason for it. It's probably my phone, to be honest. Oh, uh, but yeah, um, as long as you don't knock him off his gyro, he's pretty stable. No, he's zippy, nice. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna go back to the rest of my video now for the conclusion. Is that right, Mip? Yeah. He agrees. Well, guys, that was a test of my Mip to show you how well it runs, and it ran pretty well with these industrial batteries. It makes a massive difference um, than these um, other batteries I was using. I won't show the name because, yeah, they're just cheap batteries, but the industrial ones do make a di big difference into using devices with motors and stuff. So I'd definitely recommend them. And they've also got a bit more weight to them, a bit more dense than the other batteries. And yeah, so no one was running a lot better. Not only are they more stable in voltage, giving voltage out, but I found he ran a lot smoother. So yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. So for my secondary review, as it were, these industrial Duracell batteries I've got on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. And I only paid 13 um, some 13 pounds something for these and it was for 50 batteries not 10 50 or five packets for f for 13 quid which is absolutely amazing considering how much they normally cost so yeah thank you Amazon for that um, really good industrial batteries a lot better because the highest you can get in shops is blue which are like they're a really good version but these are like the top range ones so yeah that's amazing um so yeah the mip is a fantastic toy for kids and adults to play with i'm getting loads of fun out of mine just riding around plus there's a cat here as well and she kind of like runs off from him but actually no she plays from now so yeah uh so if you've got cats and stuff it's completely fine to have one of these in the house 
uh, providing your cat doesn't like tackle it to the ground. Uh, and it's very durable, stable as well. If it runs into things, it you know it's easy to pick back up again. But once a dry row is knocked off a of balance, that's it. Your mip is gone. Oh, one other thing I didn't mention was when you play games like boxing and stuff like that, your mip, mip actually has a uh, uh, right. The mip uses infrared to shoot at another mip, so the infrared goes back and forwards, and your health goes down. And once the health is gone, it goes boom and crashes behind. So it literally falls backwards when you fight them, which is absolutely fantastic. They've got that in there. So you have to go pick your mip back up once it's dead. Which is awesome. So these guys, these little mips are amazing. And not just that. In the app. I'm going to go back to the app quickly. And with this app you can actually hit this button here. That allows you to control multiple mips at once. So there's functionality for like. I don't know 10 of them or something ridiculous. Which is absolutely fantastic. So yeah. So you don't have to like have a partner to play. You can literally pick up two mips and just go off and play them. Which is also really good so yeah um for this review i mean the mip is just amazing i absolutely love it um for what for a kid's toy it is ridiculously good i mean from the massive robo sapien which is heavy because of batteries in its feet that keeps it upright i mean look at this thing it's a behemoth it's absolutely massive and they've they've condensed this down to that Okay, the arms don't move, but you don't need that functionality. It has the tray. Another thing is, you can put things on it, transfer it to player to player. Uh, eventually, I'll get something called a Miposaurus, which is the dinosaur version. And I'll probably end up reviewing that as well. So, yeah, guys. Conclusion, absolutely amazing. I mean, 10 out of 10 for me. I absolutely love the, this little gadget. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, it runs off Bluetooth. Control your phone. I mean, what more would you want from something like that? So yeah guys, hope you like my review on the MIP, and like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.